Are we doing this again? Where is he? What is he destroying now? Franklin. Yep, you're the reason. <laughs> Let's see how fast I can get this door framed up and ready to install. What do you guys think? It's been eaten alive by mosquitoes. How long did I take? Eight minutes. Not good, but it looks great. This is my side. And then on the other side, the side that will be in the catio, that's the finished screen door side. Yo, what's up guys? Lucky Thrives here. And if you've been following along, then you guys know that I've been building this outdoor patio for about a week now. I'm building this thing for my cats, otherwise known as a catio, and this project turned out way, way better than I expected. I'm really excited to show you guys inside, but before I do so, I just want to say a quick thank you to my sponsor. That's right, guys, I did get a sponsor, and it is the one and only Timu. Timu has decided to take me in as one of their affiliates, so now I get paid for making promotional content, and I get free stuff from their website. So, before we hop on in, let me get dressed in my Timu uniform. Uh, that was supposed to work. They said just to snap my fingers. Ah, you're killing me, Smalls. There we go. Yeah, that's right, guys. This is off of Timu. 
It is The Sandlot, one of my favorite movies of all time. And you know we got to have the squints on the back. So this will be my official Making Timu Videos uniform. I'm going to wear this every time I film Timu stuff. So without further ado, let's take a look inside and I'll show you guys all of the goodies that we got from Timu. Today's goodies are from the pet section of the website and a few are from the outdoor goods section. So those solar lights right there, these as well are from the outdoor goods section. But the rest of the stuff is from the pet goods section and most of it is cat toys that we're gonna set up right inside this amazing catio that I built for all our baby kitties. Before I get started though, we're gonna throw some turf down here on the floor, make it look really nice. And then we'll start unboxing all of those cat toys. Let's go. That's enough turf for the inside. What do you guys think? I don't think it's gonna be enough. But they won't find a way out. I got this thing locked down. There it is, guys. This door is gonna want to close on me, which is a nice feature. I want it to automatically close. See that? And then it locks on its own, which is another nice feature. So, not sure. This will stay open long enough for me to film this scene. Stay. Turf. So we're gonna have to get some more turf. That's what it looks like. Got a shelf up here for the cats to walk on, a window for them to see out. I also have this window right here, which we're gonna build an aquaponic system. Look at the fish tank here on the bottom. That's gonna be filled with fish and water. The fish are gonna add nutrients to the water. The water is gonna get pumped up here to the top of the system where we're gonna have various shelves for different plants. Those will all get that nutrient rich water from the fish. And uh, once that water drips down, it will land back down there in the bottom, get pumped up and recirculated into the system. So that's a cool thing that we worked out in here. Plenty of space. This is what it's looking like so far. We are gonna retrim all the windows and the doors. We're gonna probably replace this door with something nice and wooden so it matches the aesthetic but yeah plenty of bench space plenty of shelf space for plants and here in a little bit i'm gonna get to unboxing all of this timu stuff before i could get to the unboxing it looks like little franklin took initiative and started unboxing without me hi buddy I hope you didn't break those lights over there. At least he left the plants alone this time. Last week he killed a few blueberry bushes. It was real sad. But here they are guys. Solar globe lights from Timu. There's the solar panel. And they even have a stake so you can stick the panel on the ground somewhere. Franklin knows all about them already. That's a no, no. That's a no, no, buddy. So after careful analysis of the remains here, I found out that this was actually a two pack of solar powered globe lights. Very nice. There's a hundred lights on each string. The strings are 15 meters long and there's the solar panel right there. 
eight different modes on this guy, power on and power off there. We need to stick that in the sun so it can charge up. But these lights are actually very, very nice. They're waterproof, Franklin proof apparently. They look great after he chewed on them all day. And uh, yeah, they have a bunch of different cool features on them. I had to open up our next product, which is this solar interaction wall lamp. Here it is right here. This honestly looks very nice as well. And it's got a button right there on the front. Very bright. I'm excited to see that at night. I think we're gonna install those on each pole here in the catio, like so. We got three, actually four poles to work with. There's another light that we got off of Timu and it's got another solar panel with a very long power cord. The solar panel is sitting right on the top of this metal roof here. Getting plenty of sun. Still tons of Timu products to open today. We're gonna bring the cats out here first though. That should be a lot of fun. But yeah, Franklin got a head start and opened up the first product for us. Uh, it's probably one of the best ones, too. Hey, let's go hang these lights. I'm running all the solar panels out the back corner here and putting them on top of the metal roof. They get plenty of sun up there and then I'm gonna run all the cables for pretty much all the lighting in the cabin right off this corner. I'm just gonna place that solar panel up there for now, give it plenty of slack. And then here on the first screw that we just placed, I'm gonna start stringing the lights out. I have dealt with lights like these before and it's best to be very careful taking them out the box. Don't let them run wild because they'll tangle up on you in a hurry. So try and keep this ball of lights as controlled as possible. Work nice and slow and string it up exactly how you want it. Take your time. And since we're dealing with cats here, I'm running the wire around the screw one time, kind of looping it around so that it doesn't sag too much and uh, we know they're going to try and play with them, but that will prevent them from moving or breaking. So hopefully that's enough. Let's see how the cats like them. Yeah, we got plenty of extra light here. I might I'm have to go up and over the door. I go outside and try to take it to the garden. I'm kind of digging the go outside and take it to the garden. Franklin, come here, buddy. You got an important decision to make. I need your help. I got all these extra lights here. Let's take them outside. Let's take them outside. Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? Which one you want to open next? You already opened the first one. All right, I strung the lights all the way through the outside pergola, right over the strawberries, and all the way through the inside of the catio. They look great now. I can't wait to see them once it gets dark. What do you guys think? No, this is not for you, but it might just be. Cats are gonna love watching 
fish TV once I get this set up. Definitely gonna have to scrub that glass before we set it up though. We're gonna put tons of goldfish, guppies, and mollies in this tank. They're gonna add nutrients to the water, which will be pumped up and onto this plant shelf aquaponic system. But first, before we get to that, we need to unbox the rest of these Timu products. So let's get to it. Also have another string of lights. I'm not sure exactly where we're gonna put these guys, but I know we'll find a nice spot for them. Maybe up here in the greenhouse, all the way across the back wall there. That's a good spot for these. Ryobi, sponsor me. We got a litter mat, I presume. That must go underneath the litter box and catch all the excess litter, which is great because it'll probably be a nightmare to try and get the litter out of this turf. We also have a plethora of collars, a whole bunch of different collars. Nice. This looks like a cat hammock. Let's open that up and make sure that's exactly what it is. It is a cat hammock. So this will hang across four poles, maybe underneath here somehow, and the cats will be able to lay on there and swing. We have a couple of those inside and they love them. And then uh, last but not least, we got these cat scratchers. So we'll probably screw them into the poles here and they'll be able to scratch themselves. A lot of cool stuff. Probably some more in here. Let's see. We got some kitty cat bowls. We actually have one set up right over there. But uh, that goes just like so. It looks like a cat and it is a food or water bowl. So all set up. We got plenty of goodies in here. Definitely other stuff that I'm going to wait until later to open because I really think that wifey and the kitties would appreciate it. We did all this together, so I'm gonna wait for them. I think we've done enough for now. Let's go play some golf. This dude might be getting too big to ride in the truck. What do you guys think? Should we just get a bigger truck? Franklin, you better not do anything crazy, you hear me? I have to leash him up now because this dude is uh, teasing me. I feel like he's wanting to jump. And if something gave him a reason to jump, he just might. Like a dog, or a cat, or a chicken, or a rabbit, or a blueberry bush. We just rolled up to the golf course. In lucky fashion, it started to rain. So we're gonna stay here for 15, 20 minutes. That's pretty nasty though. Don't want to get caught out there in a hailstorm. That would be miserable. Well, folks, it's still pretty nasty out there. The winds are picking up and Franklin was not down to get down. So we're just going to turn it around and head back home. Oh, well, we'll try again tomorrow, boy. It's not even too bad, but like I said, getting caught out there in the hail would be so bad. So we're not going to risk it. Let's go make some steaks. How about that? It's time to rate the solar powered bulb lights and I gotta give them a solid eight out of 10. They survived Franklin and they look great so far. The only reason I'm not rating them higher is because I haven't seen them at night and they don't have a color change option, which would be very, very nice. But uh, yeah, eight out of 10 on the rating and on the topic of lighting let's move on to our next timu product i have these security wall lights they're also solar powered and these are for a different type of light entirely they got four sides of leds and they're super duper bright these are more for security those lights up there are more for ambient lighting and uh, these are probably going to blind the crap out of the cats but uh, we will use them if we need to see at night, clean up the spot, check on anything. If it's too dark and these are just not cutting it, we can turn these on with the action button right here on the front and change the different settings very easily. 
Those are gonna go mounted right there. They mount with two screws. We're gonna repurpose the screws that we're using to mount the bulb lights instead of using the back of the screws that it came with, but hardware is included. These lights are really nice and we got six of them. There's two in each box and we got three boxes. So very, very nice. I'll get these up and we will come back in a few minutes. All right, you guys need to see this. I just got the lights installed and I kind of underestimated how bright they are. I'm gonna move here in a sec and that light's gonna turn on and oh my God, it's, it's the middle of the day and this thing is blinding me. So bright, so nice. The four sides give it a, a good coverage here inside the catio. I think I'm only gonna install two of them. Two should be more than enough and I'll probably have to keep them off most of the time because they're so dang bright. They look good. Holding up really nice, but we do have a few leaks. I thought the overhang on the second story would be enough to cover, but still dripping down. We might add a piece of flashing on top of that two by 12, which will take care of the leaks here. But other than that, the roof is good, solid, and uh, it's nice and warm in here, despite the cold breeze right outside. This top window will provide good ventilation because we will have four cats in here, maybe more, and we need ventilation for the litter box. We're gonna have a lot of plants in here. So we might have to cage this section in because the cats will dig into these pots and get to the plants. In order to battle that, in order to prevent them from doing that, we're gonna set up an aquaponic system right here where this window is. We already have the fish tank there on the bottom, but that'll keep the cats from digging out the soil. There's no soil involved with an aquaponic system. Here are the Timu lights. Let's see. Oh my God, so bright. It's not even dark yet. Look at how well lit it is here in the catio. There's the door that I made, reinforced with wire, so Franklin can't come busting through here. Turned out really, really nice. He's out there somewhere, probably in the cave that goes underneath the house here. There's a giant hole underneath my house. We're gonna do something cool with it. As soon as we finish this catio and then the greenhouse, right off to the side of the house there. More lights, boom, different modes. And then these lights are working really good. Different modes as well. Hard to see on camera, but we need to charge those up. They just came fresh out the box 30 minutes ago. All of these lights are waterproof and they are wet because it's raining out here. And this is an indoor outdoor area. It was not intended to be completely waterproof. As I mentioned before, if we want good ventilation in here for the litter box. We want it to be nice and cool in the summer and uh, we want to be able to warm it up somehow in the winter time. So we figured this design would work the best. It was cheap. We got the metal at a discount. The lumber was pretty affordable. I think all in all, total budget spent on this catio was maybe $300. I will add everything up for you and we'll have a full in-depth total at the end of this video if you're interested. But it turned out really nice. Completely kitten proof as well. There's not a single spot that the kittens can get out of unless they can somehow squeeze their way through here which i can barely fit my fingers through it should be good even down here at the door jam it's nice and tight we do have a mix of treated lumber and non-treated lumber uh, i decided to save money everywhere i could 
which is why we have a few drips here. I did not have enough money to buy flashing and I'm not exactly sure how to secure flashing into stucco. It's already cracking. I don't want to make it worse and I want to make sure that it stays up there for good. So a good adhesive, maybe some stucco screws or nails and then a whole bunch of silicone will solve that dripping issue. Not too shabby, $300 project. Definitely doable. Go give it a shot. If you got cats in your house and you want them outside, this should be pretty easy and uh, definitely something you can do yourself. Thanks for watching guys, appreciate it. We're gonna get to opening more team stuff here in a bit. We got three boxes left and a whole bunch of solar lights to install all across the yard in the garden. Still a bunch of work to do. I'm kind of waiting for wifey to get back from work so we can bring the cats in here. So we'll do that tonight. I think we got enough lighting now to make a good video. So we might even go live. Let's see. Beautiful evening. Let's see if this rain calms down. I'm pretty sure wifey knows what's in here. I have no clue, so this would be a nice surprise for us. She told me that I had to put these together, whatever that means. And this first one looks like a cat tree. Uh, some type of cat tree looks like a sunflower or something. We'll probably put these together later on on the live stream. Hey, that looks pretty fun. <laughs> There's a cat scratcher in here and some other stuff, but I'm pretty amused with these. Uh, I think I'll be entertained for a little while. I'll oh, shoot. I'll juggle in a minute. Still got it, kind of. Uh, maybe not. We'll put that one together here in a bit. And last but not least, the big Timu box. Got a little wet with the rain here, but hopefully whatever's inside is not damaged. There's a lot of pieces to this one. So there's the last one, no clue what it is. You guys are gonna have to wait and see as well. As soon as wifey gets here tonight, we're gonna do a live stream, put the cats, bring them out here, and put all this together. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Thanks to Timu for sending us all this great stuff. We appreciate it. Thanks for all the lighting and everything else that we've put up here in the catio. I'll check back in with you guys here in a few hours. We're about halfway through this video and if you made it this far and made it through all the Timu unboxing stuff, then you guys deserve to see the little kitties. I know you can hear them already. We're doing a quick teaser. This is kind of like acclimating fish in the bag, in the fish tank before you release them into the tank. I brought the kitties in their crate out here to the catio. For the next few hours, I'm going to leave them in the crate. And they're going to get to kind of look around and check out the spot. And as soon as wifey gets here, we're going to let them out and let them run free. But uh, there is one kitty that gets special, special permission to be out. And it's this guy right here. His name is Sal. Salazar Slytherin because he likes to hiss. I know it looks like I'm grabbing him weird, but that's just the mama grab and he enjoys it. It's a good boy. You can't run around though. You can only be out if I'm holding you. Not till everyone else is free.
there's another team move cat hammock right inside and a sad little kitty Soon, kitties. I will let you free soon. It's about 10 o'clock at night, and I just heard wifey pull up in the driveway, so we ran out here to the catio. I know she's gonna come out here first thing. And as soon as she gets here, we're gonna set these little kitties free. I think they're sleeping now. Well, they were sleeping. I don't know. I'll turn on these lights when she gets here. Let me turn on the light. We have light? Oh. Is that too bright? No. Oh, oh baby. Right there. So That's probably cute. the best. Oh my gosh. Okay. Doors are locked. Doors are Let's turn on this light too. All the lights. Make sure they can't get out anywhere either. <laughs> the only thing I learned in Spanish class, and I'm pretty sure I just said turn off the lights. Baby. All right. I miss you. Let's get them over there. So cute. Go ahead, do your thing. Come on, Come here. Hi, babies. Precious little thingies. I'm gonna just. Uh, I think they like it. <laughs> I like it. Hi, baby. <laughs> You guys are hungry, huh? Come on, little Sal. Come on, little Sal. What do you think? Go kiss at him. Can I go thanks? Oh, they like it. He's like trying to play and stretch at the same time. Hi little kitties. I've got so much stuff coming for you from Timu. It's already here. No it's partially idea. unboxed. Oh, you got more stuff, huh? Maybe. Oh, little <laughs> kitties. You hear that, Timu? We got more videos coming, guys. More videos. Just for you. Hi, Thank you for the beautiful lights. They worked out really nice. Oh, you're so cute. I should have put I should have left this one here. It's actually pretty dark here now that we're out here with the babies. So it, it's just better for filming too, having all these lights. <laughs> Did you catch that? There they go. I've never seen such happy little kitties before. Oh. Tokyo Drift. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, Uncle Boy. I know, I know. Come on. It's a whole new world. You should sing the Aladdin song too. A whole new world. <laughs> Look at this. Hi, Uncle Boy. You know, his name is like perfect. I know. It's perfect. The kitties like the lights. Okay. Okay. He's like, I just want to get back in my little house. <laughs> we still have a bunch of these to set up around the yard and a whole string of bulbs. They were really nice with the lights off. You want to see them one more time? I'll show you just how easy it is to turn these off as Dark well. Mode. Hey, kitty. Come on, kitty. Which kitty is this? Benzo and Simba. Aw, hi, kitties. Cats on the street are lining up to come check out the new catio. Literally lining up, guys.
What's the plan now, huh, Kitty? Not the smartest idea. Whoa. Did you see that, Franklin? Whoa, little baby. It's okay. Kitty. Kitty's alone, Franklin. Be nice to him. 